At the state capitol tonight, a host of big bills are up for debate, including one that would crack down on catalytic converter thieves. John Croman joins us live from St. Paul with a breakdown on how it would work. John? Hey guys, this basically would try to connect the dots between a detached converter and the car it came from so that scrap metal dealers could figure out if the owner voluntarily agreed to have that part removed. Precious metals in catalytic converters, platinum, palladium, rhodium, worth 12 times the price of gold, which has fueled the meteoric rise in thefts, a trend even worse in Minnesota, which ranks in the top five in cat converter insurance claims. We need prevention, we need education, we need enforcement, and most importantly, we need regulation. West St. Again, Paul Police Chief Brian Sturgeon appeared at a Capitol News Conference in support of a bill that would make it harder for thieves to sell detached cat converters. These thefts are hurting Minnesotans' pocketbooks as replacement costs can exceed $2,000. Representative Ruth Richardson's bill would require that any converter removed from a vehicle be marked with the VIN number, the vehicle identification number, so it can be connected to the registered owner of the car at the time that it's being resold to scrap metal dealers. Marking this is uh, an important piece uh, of this, but this also gives really important tools to, to law enforcement as well. So when they're encountering people with detached uh, converters, they can actually do the work to determine if they have those lawfully. Under current law, there's very little officers can do if they pull over someone hauling multiple catalytic converters, even though it's highly suspicious and a financial blow to the owners who lose them. Talk about a burden to those individuals that have their catalytic converter stolen, anywhere from a few hundred dollars for a replacement to thousands of dollars. It puts a very significant financial strain on many citizens. So this bill passed by an overwhelming majority late uh, this afternoon, 113 yeas against 15 nays. Now the action will move over to the Senate. Now in the past, under GOP control, this bill could not get any traction because Republicans said scrap metal dealers already face too much government red tape. But of course, that has changed with the 2022 election. Back to you. All right. Thank you, John.